Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Fundu Testers. These days, I have seen many automation engineers are planning to do the cloud certifications, but they have no idea from where they can start or what path they can follow. So we are going to discuss in this video. I basically I have cleared the two certifications of AWS, and I am going to demonstrate why I have chosen particular path. And if you wanted to start from where you can start your AWS certifications journey. So let's discuss in this video. And before moving forward, don't forget to like and share this video with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe Fundu Testers. So this is the official documents of uh, AWS, and they are keep updating the document. Let's discuss what are the different paths available for a AWS uh, certifications for a different professions. So, for example, let's say uh, here they have defined a path for architecture, data analytics, development, operations, DevOps, security, and networking, AI, ML. But there is no dedicated part, path for a test engineer. So, test engineer has to basically follow the path of a architecture or a development because if your development team is uh, developing some components like lambda function or SQS and SNS, so you should know as a tester, you should know what they are developing because end of the day you need to test. And architecture are having a different level of understanding. They are having a broader picture how the end to end flow will work. So basically, developers should can follow the architect path or tester can follow the architect path and basically. If architect is coming from some design, then basically developer has to develop the application similar way tester has to test the application. So at a broader way, developer or tester can follow the same path of architecture path, solution architect or whether it can be application architect like that. So what is a path of a solution architect? So first let's understand that at last I'm going to reveal which path basically I'm following. So first one is a solution architecture. So when I did that time, it was starting from the cloud practitioner. This is the very basic certification. Here you will get to know that how basically you, you have to give the exam. You need to do the setup from home or you need to go to any center or so you will basically experience this in a first certification and all the journey is starting from the cloud practitioner only. So no need to worry. You can later also you can decide or prior also you can decide. But first is a almost first and foremost is a cloud practitioner. So basically there will be some fees. So for example, let's say the fees is a 10,000 and uh, next certification fee is a, let's say 12,000. So once you will crack the cloud practitioner certificate, you will get some discount for a next certification. So you need to pay full fee for a. Uh, first one later on you will go uh, you will get 50 50 percent discount coupons from the amazon but when i did by that time ai practitioner was not there now they have introduced the ai practitioner so you this is the cloud practitioner is a very basic level kind of a mcq basically it is touching a multiple area of aws so once you will have a basic understanding you can go with a basically cloud practitioner and then if you wanted to follow the solution architect path you can basically now next stage you need to follow the solution architect associate and then solution architect professional so these two are a way complexity is high because with a theory you cannot this certificate you can see on a display what is a rejection or a failing ratio of this certification so these two are very easy later on complexity will increase so basically if you wanted to pursue as a solution architect till first three it is going to same but for application architect later on it has to follow the develop for associate level of certification and DevOps engineer professional and solution architect professional. So here, basically for a so application architect, you need to do extra two certification, developer associate and DevOps engineer professional. But from a solution architect perspective, it is directly, directly after solution architect associate level, it is directly navigating you to professional level so it is basically skipping this to certification 
and for a cloud again uh, for a solution architect associate is a common for a cloud platform but again then it will convert it into a, your data engineer profile and these two are uh, extra like a deep dive security or machine learning after cloud you wanted to pursue as a machine learning mi ml then you can go ahead with this if you wanted to divert your path from a security perspective you can go with uh, this one and here you can see optional and uh, this is a recommended so you can start your journey from an AI practitioner as well or a cloud practitioner as well and later on it is a software development so development for a software development it is a basically after cloud or after AI it will be a developer associate and then DevOps engineer professional because developer is to do the deployment and all these things Octopus and all these things that were uh, dealing with so DevOps engineer few components from the DevOps side because they need to deploy and all this and then operas, operations uh, you can follow this path and for a test engineer they have given one hierarchy which is a developer associate and then DevOps engineer professional and similar way you can follow different different for a different professional they have basically twisted one or two certifications from here and there now which path I am basically following. So that we will discuss after a small demo of a XLQ because this video is sponsored by XLQ. XLQ and XLQ is a basically a no-code automation platform which supports mobile application, web applications and API automation without writing any code which is a no basically it is a no-code automation platform. So let's have a quick demo and then uh, we'll discuss about my journey of uh, AWS certifications. ExcelQ is a leader among continuous functional test automation providers and is trusted by Fortune 500 enterprises across industry verticals. ExcelQ's AI-powered codeless test automation platform has proven to achieve three times the productivity and reduce test maintenance by 70%. That translates to over 50% cost savings and enables alignment with your continuous delivery. ExcelQ brings the discipline, flexibility, and power of a conventional code-based setup into a codeless world. Automation-first, no-code capabilities make it easy for testing teams without programming expertise to develop automation in plain, natural English. The world is undoubtedly moving towards low-code, no-code, and cloud apps that present their unique set of testing challenges. Our game-changing technology, ExcelQ Live, drives digital assurance across enterprise and vertical industry apps. Give your testing verifiable acceleration. Sign up for a free trial today. Basically, I'm following the longest path, which is a cloud practitioner and then I, I did a solution architect certificate and next I'm going to do the development associate. So why I'm doing this? Because this way I'm going to cover test engineer journey, solution architect journey and development journey with two extra certifications. So that's why I choose if I have to do then why not more. So that's why I'm going with a application architect. So you can design in a such way that with a one path, adding one or two extra certification, you can cover two, three different professional journeys. So you can plan, you can go through entire and you can make your own sequence and then you can follow from the start to press. But I'll, I must tell you one thing, uh, for a beginner level, you don't need any working experience. But for an advanced level, associate, uh, architect level or any other professional level or specialty level, you must have a real-time experience because these questions come from a real kind of a exposures. If you don't have a real kind of a exposure, then likely you are going to fail the exam because questions won't be straightforward. It you need to answer based your based on your understanding and based on your expertise. So what I suggest you can start with one journey and parallelly seek for the opportunity seek for the opportunity to work on a AWS and backend side and especially for a tester it is tricky to learn so if you are getting any project of a backend automation I have already explained in the backend automation video what is a backend automation what is a cloud automation so if you are not familiar you can watch this video 
बट इफ यू आर गेटिंग द चांस टू वर्क ऑन अ बैक एंड डोंट लूज दैट चांस बिकॉज इट्स अ ट्रिकी टू वर्क ऑन अ बैक एंड components like a cloud or any other micro services what happens for example let's say you are work you need to do learn a ui automation you can pick any website amazon flipkart whatever any website and you can start automating but if you wanted to automate cloud component let's say sqs sns lambda cloud watch or s3 bucket so it should have set up there should be some application deployed on a lambda some logs after only you can see the logs so that application from where you will get the application it is not available on public on a public domain so for that you should work on a real project only so if you are getting any opportunity don't miss that's all about aws cloud certification so if you are planning to do some certifications and if you need some more advice or if you want me to make some uh, more videos on aws cloud certifications then let me know in a comment section i'll be happy to make more videos and i'll be happy to share knowledge how i did from where i prepare all these resources and everything i can share at last don't forget to like and share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe fundu testers thank you so much see you soon